Hello again, Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guides to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as DVD Architect. And we made it. We're here at part eight of our eight-part basic training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. We've got a little movie on our timeline. Look, we've even added some uh, menu markers in case we want to output a DVD or a Blu-ray disc. And now it's time to output our movie. Now, Magix has included a very nice feature in Movie Studio Platinum called Make Movie. If you go up here to the top center of the screen, you can click on that. And if you just select what you want to do with your movie, it'll sort of walk you through the process of doing it. For instance, if you want to upload it to Vimeo, YouTube, or Facebook, the program will interface with those websites and you can upload an optimized video directly to them. If you select the option to burn it to a DVD or Blu-ray disc, you can either create the DVD or Blu-ray disc with no menus directly from Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, or the better option is to send it over to DVD Architect. DVD Architect comes bundled with the Platinum version of Vegas Movie Studio. It's an excellent program. I've written a whole separate book and I got a whole separate set of tutorials on it. It's the best DVD and Blu-ray authoring program out there. If you select that option, when you click next, you see the program automatically generates the video and audio program for DVD Architect in a format that is optimized for whether the DVD or the Blu-ray, whatever it is you're going to output, and then ports it on over there to DVD Architect. Very nice. Like I say, that's a whole separate tutorial. You can save it back to your camera or portable device. Rarely see this now. In the old days, mini DV camcorders used to have a record feature so you could send your video back to them. That no longer is the case. And in fact, tape-based video has gone by the wayside. But that feature is there if you need it. And finally, save it to the hard drive. And if you decide to save your video to your hard drive, clicking that option, you'll see you have a number of preset options here for outputting an MPEG-2, MP4, AVC-HD. But rather than go with Make Movie, let's go the professional route and simply go to Project, Render As, and this opens up the entire set of destinations and templates for outputting your movie. Now we've got a number of options here. About half of these are audio options, so don't worry about them right now. That's a completely separate subject. But among our output options, you'll see Real Media, you'll see Windows Media, Windows Video, Windows Audio. These, for the most part, are not used very often, including video for Windows, not used very often. The world has pretty much gone to MP4s now, and there are three formats here for outputting your MP4. There's Sony AVC, MVC, and here you can see options for outputting it as an MP4 that's optimized for a device for instance, a phone or a PlayStation even. And you do have some options here also for outputting your Blu-ray. But Magix has its own set. And Magix has, if you look under AVC, AAC, you have options here for outputting 4K, for outputting Blu-ray and high def. And then you've got the HEVC. This uses the more advanced H.265 codec to output your MP4. If you know what that means, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And here too, we can output our high definition video or our ultra high definition video, our 4K as an MP4. So generally I'm using one of the magic options. If I'm preparing a video for DVD, I may use the main concept MPEG options. I show you how to use these in the book and in a separate tutorial, how to prepare your file if you're going to send it to DVD Architect or create a DVD from it. But that's basically it. If you know what you're doing, come over here to Render As and select one of these advanced options. For instance, if you want to output a video that you're going to upload to YouTube, you'd probably use one of these Magix AVC internet options. If you're not sure what you're doing or if you're a little confused, then by all means, click on Make Movie and select one of the options from there. And that's pretty much it, folks. We've reached the end of the road. There is so much to know about this program. I love Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. It's one of the most advanced among the consumer video editors out there. And there's a lot to learn. If you want to learn it piece by piece, check out the many tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. Love to see you there. If you got a question, come by our community forum. I'm glad to give it an answer right there for you. Somebody will get you an answer, if not me. Some part of our knowledgeable worldwide community of movie pixers will help you out. And if you want to know every single thing about this program, check out the moviepicks.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio 
Platinum, as well as the MoviePix.com Guide to DVD Architect. They are both available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for spending your time with me, and I hope to see you again real soon.